Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. July 6th, when loss is gain. There's a line that is drawn by rejecting our Lord, where the call of His Spirit is lost. And you hurry along with the pleasure mad throng. Have you counted? Have you counted the cost? Have you counted the cost? If your soul should be lost, though you gain the whole world for your own. Even now it may be that the line you have crossed, have you counted, have you counted the cost? When loss is gain, and he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. One marked feature in the teachings of Christ is the frequency and earnestness with which he rebuked the sin of covetousness and pointed out the danger of worldly acquisitions and the inordinate love of gain. When the head and hands are constantly occupied with planning and toiling for the accumulation of riches, the claims of God and humanity are forgotten. Means is valuable and to be desired. It is a blessing, a precious treasure, if used prudently, wisely, and not abused. Since mortals have bodies and heads and hearts, to be provided for, some provision for the body must be made in order to hold a proper position in the world. Not to meet the world's standards, oh no, no indeed, but to be of influence in the world for good. Want and poverty are evils to be dreaded, but hunger and nakedness, lack of home, sympathy or a name, and even starvation are more desirable than to sacrifice one principle of truth. Let the eternal truth be cherished, for it is immortal. If we make it a part of us, we shall surely gain immortal glory and eternal riches. If God has not given you the power to obtain means with perfect uprightness and integrity, then he never meant that you should have it. And it is best for you to submit to the will of God. The infinite creator is the possessor of all things. Any loss you may sustain in your allegiance to him is infinite gain in the future immortal life, if not fully realized in this life. Behold the glories of the firmament. Look up to the gems of light, which like precious gold stud the heavens. Cannot he who spread above us this glorious canopy, who, if the sun, moon, and stars were swept away, could call them again into existence in a moment, requite his faithful, loyal servants who would be obedient to him, though they lost wealth, honor, or even a kingdom for his sake? Our High Calling, July 6th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.